Hi guys, welcome on Laserfish work for version 11 installation. Let's go straight to the installation setup. Then I'll click workflow. I'll accept the terms. Next. Uh, I'll store the complete installation and if you want to install a 32-bit version you can check here but I want 64-bit so these are all components of workflow that will be installed Leatherfish workflow, workflow designer, browse support, workflow service, workflow subscriber web service, web workflow web, workflow admission console Work for SDK, activity blocks, and all the stuff. And here's a necessary component part. The good thing of all of them, and my machine meets the requirements, software requirement. You can see the minimum is version Windows 7, so it's part one, but I have Windows 10 here. Microsoft Message Queue, Windows features already installed. Donate framework 4.8 already installed. Visual C already distributable for Visual Studio already installed. IAS already installed. And IAS SP.NET 4.5 is already installed. Then I click next and continue with the installation. So let's continue with the um, workflow configuration. So uh, after I click finish, uh, Laserfish workflow configuration manager will be launched and we continue with the configuration of workflow server version 11. Yes, workflow configuration manager. So here is where we will be configuring our workflow server. Let's start with workflow server. This one is very easy. So here you specify SQL server because workflow server workflow has its own database. Uh, you have to specify the server instance name we I'll call it workflow. I'll use SQL Server Authentication. Guys, this is the user. Let me rewrite the database name. 
and I'll click next. I use the same port. Next, next, finish. And let it do the rest. We have already finished with one component which is workflow server. Let's continue with the workflow subscriber. You can see it's just simple, just click next, next, and it's done. Um, maybe if you want, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we just click next, next, it's okay. And monitor the repository. So here is where you add the repository. It specifies also this workflow will monitor which repository. So let's do uh, one thing. I want. Uh, I will go to the administration console. Before I finish with that, I just first I have to go to to open administration console. Let me close this. All tabs here. Let me close here and minimize it. First, I go to administration console, then open the repository that I want my workflow to monitor. I log in. So here I'll create a specific user that um, workflow will use to monitor the repository. So I'll click. Uh, I'll create a repository user known as workflow I'll give this user a password then I'll add the user into administrators group come here after that I'll go continue with the configure workflow configuration manager I go to monitor the repository I'll add the server which my repository is in bad let's open it uh, work for configuration manager work for configuration let's open again and right here x my repository is this one and the user, I'll use the user that we created. Workflow, provide the password, sign in free because the number of session is which is the material the user has been located with. Okay, to handle this, uh, first of all, we can solve this way giving this user a temporary license okay let's open our LFDS Let's go to Laserfish server. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna reallocate some full named user for my repository users. To do that, I'll come here and 
you have like dedicated like five uh the post named user license okay do that I download the license file copy it then I'm going to replace with the existing one Fetch the server. You can restart the service to make the uh, allocated license available. can see here now it's the post name your license in use are zero but available are five so let's do this go to our user workflow Give him a one named user license. Okay, so let's go back to the complete the configuration of workflow. Let's use our user. You can see it's already added here. After that, you can close. As I say, that user can you can give it just a temporary license. You can remove, remove. This won't affect the uh, the setup, the configuration that you did on the workflow on the repository which workflow is supposed to monitor. Because uh, what workflow will do after the configuration, it will just create its user, which is workflow admin that it will use when you want to access the repository. Let's continue with the email server. Uh, this I'll just show you what to do. You just light email server here, send address and it will work. Let me try to put this mine. I write my SMTP server here. email for testing
coach then I'll finish with workflow web services we finish so I can try by opening workflow designer and see if it can connect to my workflow server it's fine then up to here we are done so this is we have seen how we can install workflow server version 11 and how to configure it thank you guys